hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop the next update on i do stay tuned on today's episode Sehar goes on a rant on how helpless poor desperate and useless razia is that she shouldn't be dealt with so severely he refuses to budge but then she caresses his cheeks and bam, with both her hands and it has its effect and Ahil agrees and tries to get intimate with her while she desperately tries to get take a chance to get out of his grip that she should go and immediately tell this news to Razia. As she would be very happy but he holds her hand and tells her to spend some time with her husband as he is more important than Razia. She has no option as he takes her from there. Sana wakes up in an old barn where she's locked and as the door opens, someone enters. Sana is shocked to see that the person is Razia. Raza is amused at her plight and takes off the hanky, which she gagged her with. Sanam asks her why she got her kidnapped. Raza asks her to use her brain and think as she would remember. Sanam says she doesn't remember doing anything wrong to her, so why is she being punished? Raza asks what condition she is right now and that seeing his, this face, none can say she is the would-be wife of Bupal's Nawab. Sanam asks her why she is doing this and what she would get, that he would come and definitely rescue her. Razia goffles and says evilly that Ahil would search only when he cares for her and wants to search for her. Sanam asks why he won't search for her as she is his wife and starts screaming, wondering whether she has done something to Ahil. Razia says that she won't show her all the cards but can say that none in the house is bothered for her and hence she shouldn't waste time waiting for people to come looking for her. That she should lie here till the time she doesn't get her revenge as her life is in her hands. Sanam is shocked, distraught and appalled when she sees that Razia doesn't answer any of her questions. Razia locks and gags her again while she instructs the guards that she shouldn't escape from here nor quit noise before she's able to get her revenge. Ayo asks her if she actually loves him. She stands but then turns the ball and is caught by asking him to listen to his own heart and then he shall know the answer and won't have to ask her. She leaves his sleigh while he stands. She's amused that she got Ahu so easily fulfilled and finding the answer to his own question. The next morning, Haya walks in while Ahil is busy in his work. He asks about Faze and she says he was busy, hence she came alone to meet them. He's happy to know Haya is here to surprise Sanam and she sends her to Sanam's room. Raja notices this from a distance and time tries to go and warn Seha before Haya goes to meet her. Or else she would mess up. Ahu notices her tense and is buckled. Razia leaves from there hastily and goes to Haya, offering to take her to the sister. But Danvi comes and asks her to get her meds instead, while Haya can go to Sanam. Razia resignedly complies and leaves. Haya goes to Sanam's room and Danvi is amused. While Seha is wondering all she has to face in this house due to this work, Haya comes from behind and surprises her by blindfolding her. She wakes up with a start. Haya apologizes for what's been happening lately and asks her not to be angry at her and hugs her while Seha is reminded of some faint past memories. She too hugs her back. Razia comes to find them both hugging and is relieved that Seha didn't mess up with her. She tries to tell her about her relation but isn't able to and when Haya says that she wants to talk to her, she again hugs her then Razia shows her a written note saying this is her sister and then gives another signal that she's deaf and dumb. Seha goes on an over exuberant display of love and affection while shocked at this news. Haya asks her if she has gone mad. She says she wants to talk something very important. She opens her purse and shows a paper to her. Seha takes it and begins reading which states that she wanted to say this at the party too but couldn't and informs that she and Faze have got divorced and that they shouldn't have gotten married at all, that she didn't even love Faze and that she always loved Rahat and always would continue to do so. Razia is tense to hear this too. Seha gets tensed. Haya signals to Seha that she wants to marry Rahat and asks if she doesn't mind. Razia tries to give her a signal but Seha doesn't say. Razia rushes in announcing tea and snack. Seha too hurriedly takes her out for snack. Haya is tensed. Haya walks alone in the hallway. Razia and Seha are talking while walking when Seha comments that this is a weird house and she doesn't want to stay here. Razia says that she isn't here to comment but to do her work. Seha says she's disinterested to have a life here too. She finds the paper in Razia's hand and tears it to pieces. She takes the paper and throws it in the bin. 
as our parents sees this from a distance and thinks it must be definitely it must definitely contain a mystery Tave is disturbed when she gets the stink of the bean as Aza's parents soft through it. She finally finds a bit of papers. Tanvi asks them to read it. She reads the note and is bothered, and so is Tanvi. Tanvi is determined that something is going on when someone is trying to tell Sanam that Haya is her sister. When she talks to Haya, but why does someone need to as Sanam herself knows it? Aza's parents start boasting that they would get this mystery unraveled in no time. Tanvi says there's definitely some mystery involved and to unravel it, she would have to keep her eyes and ears open. She's determined while Aza's parents are tensed. They continue with her nonsense. Tanvi says that they would have to be extra cautious. Haya tensely talks to Ahio while Seha observes. Ahio asks her to open up and talk to him. Seha comes and says maybe Haya was helpless to talk then at the party and it's no big deal. Ahio asks how she can be so careless and callous. Who used to be bothered at the slightest problem of Haya and Dilchard? Seha is tense and says she still cares like that and nothing has changed, but if this is what they want, then they should support her. Seha says if she loves her heart and wants to start afresh, she would have to forgive her past life. Only then can she make a new beginning. Ahi is convinced and calls Haya, asking her to share everything. Seha is relieved. Haya is convinced people change with time as the past Sanam would be very upset that Haya didn't tell her. But right now, she seems unfazed that Haya kept a secret from her. She is tensed. They leave off Haya. Inside, Ahio says he is impressed with her, with her accepting Haya's marriage to her heart so easily. She says that if two people are destined to meet by God's grace, then who is she to question it? And gets emotional, seeing Rehan pass by and comments that she is happy. Haya's love story got fulfilled. Ahio says their love story is similar too. Say her senses him coming close and leaves sighting an excuse of work in the kitchen. Ahio is frustrated. In Sanam's room, Aza's parents are busy trying to find the perfect place to hide something, oblivious that Seha is on the way. They strew around files looking for a place and finally settle on the lantern line and places the secret mic and camera inside. They rush out and are shocked to find Seha confronting them, asking what they are doing in her room. They are stunned into silence and start fumbling, saying they came searching for food. She stands but doesn't say anything and passes by. They are relieved. The camera, the camera starts recording as Seha enters the room and then Razia comes after her and locks the door. Seha asks why she's so pleased. Razia shows her the paper, saying one more trap and they shall be successful, adding that these are the few new property papers which, if signed by Ahio and her, would get the property in Razia's name. Seha says it isn't that easy as Ahio isn't an illiterate or blind. Razia asks her not to think like Sunehi but like Sanam who Ahi is desperately in love with and since she saw Sunehi would easily be able to come up with something that this work should be done before her heart and Haya's marriage. Sunehi says it's impossible as she has, she has just three days then. Razia says Ahio's marriage contract ends in four days and if the papers end signed then the property will go to trust and hence gives her three days to finish or else her money would go too. She leaves. Say her things life doesn't give second chances and maybe this is her chance to take advantage of it. Tanvi thinks she just needs one evidence to expose Sanam in front of Ahio and then she, he would change his understanding about Sanam as she isn't that simple as she seems and he just needs to feel betrayed once and then he would easily sign off the property papers and then throw Sanam out of his house and house life forever and her marriage would be over before even the contract ends and that once the papers are signed it would be very easy for her to get rid of Ahio too. They smile evilly. After Seha leaves the room, Aza's parents enter and take the camera and are about to move out when they are confronted again by Seha, who come back as she had forgotten her phone. Aza's father hides the camera in a plotted, potted plant and gives the excuse of cleaning the house. His wife too plays along. Seha turns them and asks them to get a broom and clean the room nicely. They are shocked but out of their scare, alpha scare, they comply and rush out. They return back with broom and wipes the clean the, and clean the room. They are tired and exhausted. Why Seha taunts them to continue doing this nice work? After they leave, Seha is sure that they definitely must have done something wrong since they came and searches around trying to grab onto the ceiling to find what's hidden there. And as fate would have it, her foot she falls right in Ahil's arm. They both awkwardly compose themselves. Ahil tells her he knows that their contract marriage ends in four days and she must be nervous. 
her mind full of questions, and he's ready to answer them all. He asks her to come along while she's confused. Ayo opens the door with remote control and Seha asks Ayo if he had to say something. Right then, Seha notices the miniature dream home in front of her, the one Ayo had made with Tanam. Ayo holds Sena in his arms and says, The dream house that we built, it is the most beautiful dream of our life, and I dreamt it with you. I want to turn it to reality. Ayo is on his knees and makes Seha sit and says, I have built many bungalows, building, bungalow buildings and lands but learn to build a home from you and want to make this home a reality with you. Seha recollects Rehan proposes to her. Ahil helps Seha get up and says, I know the contract marriage is going to end in four days, but now I want to sign this contract with you for life. Will you give me your company? Ahil gets down on one knee and proposes to Seha. Sanam, who is gouged at the godown, self thoughts, why am I getting bad thoughts? Why do I feel Ahil is going away from me? Seha self thoughts. This house is not my dream and I can't make it mine. She keeps mute. Right then, Tavi calls out and Seha turns to leave, but Ahil insists that he wants an answer. Ahil says we can get married right after her heart and Haya's marriage. Just answer. Seha says I will, but right now you need to go to Tanvi. Maybe she needs your help. Ahil relents and leaves. Seha is worried. Razia rushes to her and asks the matter. If we keep meeting like this, our secret will be out. Seha says I'm leaving from here. Razia asks the matter and Seha says that Romeo Ahil proposed to me and wants to marry me for real in three days. Razia is delighted and says there can't be a better news than this. She makes Seha sit and says marry him, live with him, then leave him after making this property mine. Seha asks Razia, do I look crazy? He loves Sanam. I won't do anything you say. I am a top, but I have some good morals too. Razia says if I say something, you will think I am crazy. Well... Marry him, it doesn't mean you have to leave the marriage for her. Seha says, what a weird house. Thank you guys for watching today's update on I Do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.